Hello and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle! This is it, the end of the end, the final bonus episode. So let's uh, start off by showing a couple of the things that we didn't do in one player mode. This is kart racing, it's entirely bugged out on this version so we're not going to look at it, but I do want to show you the alternate carts for all the characters. So here they are, you can see the, uh, the stats. <laughs> That's right, a couple characters turn into something different, so Tails turns into a chow. But the stats just sort of, sort of go a little bit crazy. I don't think you need these cars to beat the kart racing, but it really helps. And then Rouge turns into the Eggman bot. <laughs> I love that. I will show boss mode. Again, this tends to crash, so I'm not actually going to do it. But this is there's three emblems here for clearing the hero side bosses, the dark side bosses, and then all the bosses. I don't... I think you might only get one life to do it. I think that might be the big thing. That's the one-player stuff. Let's take a look at two-player mode. Two-player mode is okay. It's okay. So here you've got Sonic and Shadow. They've got five stars. Amy has three stars, and then Metal Sonic has four. I will... I have a second controller here. Unfortunately, I can't actually play with both of them, but I'll show you a little bit of how this works. We're just gonna go with Sonic and Shadow. You get all of the speed stages in the game. You only unlock level 4 once you've beaten the story mode. But here, it, it doesn't actually go in order, so we've got City Escape. Well, this goes in order. So these are pretty much just the normal levels, but what I do want to show you is the Downtown Race and the Grind Race, because these are different. These are not the same stages. In fact, the Grind Race was the first way that I found out. Sorry, I'm gonna let you listen. <laughs> The, the two-player mode was the first way I actually found about found out about Skyrail. Because I'd never seen that level, and that's where the grind race is. Poor Shadow's just going to be sat there for the entire thing. Are there rings in this level? There might not be. These are kind of like tutorial races almost, just to get you familiar with the concept. But one of the major aspects of multiplayer is that there's rings, and the more rings you get, you can start using special moves. So, I am going to show the special stages here, but then I think I'm going to throw in, throw myself into a normal stage so I can show you how the power-ups go. Because there is something I need to, to mention about that. They give star rankings for each character. They do give two five-star characters. I guess the point is that if you've got two players playing, then you don't have to fight over the major, like, good characters. But if you've got more than two people playing, playing, then it just kind of comes down to who picks what character. And believe it or not, Sonic and Shadow are not the best characters. I'll explain it when we get there. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Sonic won that one. Um, I'm not going to show off Player 2 purely because my Player 2 controller is super busted and barely works. So I'm just gonna, just gonna switch characters. You can see there, speed increase with- let me show that again. Speed increase with 20 rings, attack with 40 rings, and stop time with 60 rings. Just remember that. So first of all, let's do the grind race. If you've ever let the, the um, main screen just sort of play and you've seen the demo, it shows you uh, parts of the races like this. Yeah, this is cool, I love this. I definitely used to just do this a lot when I was a kid. Especially after I'd already gotten stuck and I was still looking for things to do. Oh, this isn't uh, Skyrail, this is... This is Pyramid Cave. Maybe, uh, I don't know what I was talking about, never mind. But either way, this isn't really much of a race. You just press the B button and if you ever see your opponent, try to homing attack them and then you win. <laughs> So it's not that great as an actual race, but it's not half bad as a tutorial just to get used to grinding. And that's mostly what I used it for. Not that I had anybody to play with anyway. I would always just do exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah, this is the only place in the entire stage where you can actually... Shoot. That wasn't supposed to happen. Um, can I get down there? No, it doesn't look like it. 
There are checkpoints. Oh, please just die already. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That was me hitting the thing and not catching the rail. But as long as that doesn't happen, that's the only place in the game where you really have a chance of getting ahead. Because if, you if you're in the exact same place, which you most likely are because all you have to do is press the B button, then you can meet your opponent and whoever gets a hit off first is just going to win. This is very cool, though. I love this view of Eggman's base. This would have made an excellent tech demo. Oh, do I have rings? Yeah. Oh, okay. I am going to stop and show this. If you die, you actually get your one of your abilities. Chaos Control stops time. I don't know if it gives you that one always or if it's just uh, random. But we'll go into a normal stage. Um, let's see. City Escape, Metal Harbor, White Jungle. What stage do I want to play? I want to play Radical Highway, because I always want to play Radical Highway. I'm not going to finish the race this time, I'm just going to show you the abilities. Sonic and Shadow's abilities are exactly the same, they just have different names and different colors. So let's get some rings. You have the light dash, I don't know if that's because I picked it up in the game, or because you just have it, but I do have it. I guess there's not much I can do about to test it. Actually, that's not true. I can test it. Can Sonic bounce? No, he can't. Alright, so at 20 rings you get a speed speed boost, which actually does do what it says it does. It makes you go- oh, different there. It makes you go a lot faster. That's 40, so now I get the attack. And if anyone's curious, that is the same attack that he used during his boss fight. And the- uh, oh, there's Sonic Wind. You can homing attack to get out of that. Oh, that was a mistake. Now I'm gonna have to collect all the rings again. But um, when he, when you're fighting him in the boss battle in the English, he says disappear. That's exactly what he said there. It basically means disappear. Um, now I gotta get 60 more rings so I can show off chaos control. That's it. okay. So there's the speed boost again. Speed boost does not last very long. And are the rings here? No. The ring layouts are different, obviously. There it goes. There goes Chaos Spear. Oh no! I am never going to be able to show off Chaos Control. Well, worst case scenario, I did get to show it in the last level, so that's okay. If I can just get to 60 rings, I can show you how it's supposed to work. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe... Yeah, it looks like it might be random what power-up you get when you die. Oh, I'm gonna drop down here, because I see some rings. Perfect. And there's Chaos Control. I'm mashing buttons with the second player controller. That stops time for with Sonic and Shadow for 10 seconds, and if you mash, it makes it go faster. Now, let's take a look at some other characters. Metal Sonic only has uh, four stars. He really should have zero stars, if you ask me. Because Metal Sonic's thing is that he has a, a faster natural speed, but he gets no attacks or power-ups. No speed boost, no attack, no chaos control. And you can already see how he's going faster because he's almost overshooting these, uh, these things. He's harder to control. He is faster, but he is definitely hard to control. He's a little bit slidey. His physics don't really work that well. He, if I, if I remember, maybe he gets the speed boost. He might get a speed boost, but he does. He has no attack, and he has no. Can I like that? Uh, no, I can't. I don't know. I don't feel like playing around with that right now. I don't care enough about multiplayer mode to figure out who has power ups and when and why. But I just want to get to. 20 rings, so I can... Whoops, hold on. Well, that was the first crash live on camera. You get the point, though. He has no attacks, and you wouldn't believe how big of a disadvantage that is. I've never managed to win a race with Metal, Sh Metal Sonic. Now, Amy, on the other hand... See, it even says here, good acceleration, but no special attacks. Amy only has three stars, 
and yet says not very fast, gets attacks with less rings. So her natural speed is slower, but the amount of rings you need to get your specials is halved. And that's not it. You'll see when we get the attacks, that's not her only advantage. So this is the only time you get to play as Amy. Amy does not appear to have the light dash. Weird. Anyway, we've already got our speed boost. We already have our attack. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. Yeah, using that on a on an automated section is a bad idea. And now we already have the time stop, which lasts for twice as long as the other characters. 30 rings for a time stop for 20 seconds. You play Amy and you win. That is the strategy for this racing mode. You play Amy and you win. All right, let's show off the other modes. Ooh, my controller might be acting up a little bit. If I have to fix it, I'll fix it. All right, so again, treasure hunting levels. Knuckles and Rouge are the standard. Special attacks with 20 rings. We'll take a look at the tutorial levels. This is Pool Quest. This is your introduction to underwater emerald hunting. You start in the same area, which means you can attack each other. In fact, I might just do that so I can show off the, uh, the special attacks. Again, these are the same special attacks that you had in the uh, story, the boss fight. They do make the opponent dizzy, though. So that's something. And this lasts a long time. Right, so let's, uh... See if we can show off... Oh, here's, uh, we got Knuckles. There's Hammer Punch. That, uh, that's the first tier. The first one just stuns. The second one kills. And, uh, makes you dizzy. Um, no, that's the same attack we just had. You can also get a time stop, I believe. Which is what I'm gonna try to show next. I'm actually not sure if you can find rings by digging. Alright, and there's the, uh, the time stop. And that works exactly the same way as it does in the normal mode. Because this is your little tutorial, they only have one emerald, so it is a race to one emerald. And I see it right there. There you go. The other two characters do, of course, also have their own quirks. You've got two returning characters from the previous game. You've got Tikal, quick but weak attacks, and then Chaos Zero, strong but moves slow. I tend to find that with the treasure hunting stages, it doesn't make that big of a difference, to be perfectly honest. All of Tikal, well, I don't know about the Japanese actually, but in English at least, all of Tikal's voice lines are recycled from Adventure 1. Planet Quest. <laughs> and of course, Chaos doesn't talk at all. Um, why is Chaos getting a radar, but I'm not? Oh, we're looking for different pieces. That's right, I forgot about that. So this is your first uh, introduction to Mad Space. It's not as bad as the real Mad Space. Although I have gone around this entire- what the? Oh, that's right, to calls radar is bad. I forgot about that. It says she has weak attacks, but it's worse than that. She's got bad radar. And it looks like Chaos probably has good radar. Yes. Alright, so it's around here. Yeah, I figured it was over here. There's Planet Quest. So basically, don't play as to call. Sorry, one second. Gotta take care of something. Boy, sure wouldn't be an episode of this Let's Play without some sort of curse. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. This is the battle mode for the shooters. You've got your typical main characters, Tails and Eggman. And then you've got Chow Walkers. They're so cute. Alright, let's jump into the tutorial levels as usual. I forgot to mention, if you just highlight a level and then select that one, 
you will just, uh, you play all of these. But we're not going to do that. Let's look at the deck race. Short race, <laughs> get to the goal ring. Alright, so unlike the normal shooter levels, this is actually a race. In the regular battle stuff, you are trying to defeat the opponent, but in this one you're actually trying to get to the end of the stage. So it's a little bit different. Oh, come on. And again, this is the, uh, the little tutorial things. It's quite cool. Not necessarily the greatest multiplayer interaction ever to be seen, but it is still cool what they can do with the, the different modes of playing. Those springs or traps will send you back. And there's the goal. Very, very simple. No rings to show off the special attacks, so we'll have to do a different race, of course. Unlike the speed and the treasure hunting stages that really take the stages and basically do the exact same thing, these stages are completely different. It's just a little, little platform for you guys to fight on. So let's take a look at Hidden Base here. You can see here, the goal is just to knock out the appointment. It's like an appointment? Opponent! It's like a, a boss battle. So there's the missiles, that's the same attack that he gets during his boss battle. I think you might also get the laser as well. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So exactly the same as the boss battle, and Eggman's attacks are the same as well. They don't even look different like Shadow and, uh, and Sonic. It's just the same thing. So before we go check out the other tutorial level, let's get the obvious best characters. The Chow Walkers! I love them. I'm very upset they're not in any other area. And again, this is a race to the finish. <laughs> These guys get different attacks. I am actually going to be picking up the Player 2 controller in a second. You can see the Dark Chow Walker moves slower by default. The Light Chow Walker moves faster by default, but the attacks are different. So the attack strength for the Light Chow Walker is lower, which, you know, doesn't matter here, but if you're actually attacking, then it does less base damage than the Dark Walker, with the advantage supposedly being that you can dodge easier. And of course, with the Black Chow Walker, you do heavier damage, but can't dodge. I tend to find that doing heavier damage is the better advantage in something like this. But I also haven't played this very much, and don't really plan to, so who knows, maybe that's just my own personal experience. Anyway, here's the Pyramid Maze. This is the little maze for hidden, uh, hidden base. This was my first introduction to these Eggman platform thingies here. And it may have actually been my first intro- mm, I don't remember, actually. It might have been the first time I could use the hover, and then I was confused why I couldn't do it in the main game. That is pretty much it for the two-player mode. It keeps track of your score. So right now, player one has seven and player two has zero. You can do chow racing and chow karate. This is just the normal chow racing and karate, the party mode where you can pit your own chow against each other. It just takes you into the chow garden. Same with the kart race. It just takes you to the regular kart racing area and you can play the, uh, the kart racing with multiple people. So that's it for multiplayer. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it's also not bad. Sonic has a history of not super great multiplayer modes, but this one's actually pretty fun. You can get a little bit out of this. So just as a wrap up, let's take a look at our emblem results. There we go. You see the only emblems that are missing are the all A rank emblems and that's just gotta have gotta be what it is. Here's the mini games. I'm not gonna get these emblems. Chow racing and karate in particular just takes forever. But that's it. 160 out of 180 means you've gotten all of the emblems from the normal stuff. And the only thing you can do from here is get A ranks and chow stuff. 
and I guess the boss battle and the mini games. So that's it. I guess that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Some credits and inspiration. There's some pretty good Let's Plays of this out there. One that gave me particular inspiration was Slim Kirby's Let's Play of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. He got all the A ranks, and he, at, he even made it look kind of easy. I don't understand how he can do that, but you should definitely go watch his video. Also, a user by the name of Zoomzyke has been making very detailed level videos. He's been doing the work that I wish I could do for this kind of, for this game, honestly. You should go look him up. He's done very detailed videos on, I want to say, um, City Escape. He's done Metal Harbor, Green Forest, and Radical Highway, and it seems like he might be doing some more in the near future. So definitely go check that out. And I guess the next question is, am I going to keep doing Let's Plays? And the answer is, I'm not totally sure. I would like to. I just started school, so whether or not I am able to is going to be the question, but I do have things set up for the next game, and assuming I can actually find the time to get things rolling, I, yeah, I think that's going to be fun. I'm going to try to go by a pattern of doing sort of, maybe not an obscure game, but either an obscure and or more indie kind of game, and then intersperse those with more mainstream games. So if I can actually get that off the ground and up and running, I guess keep your eyes on this channel and see what happens. Also, I will be doing covers of the rest of the Sonic songs eventually, so that's coming as well. Thank you for coming with me on this journey, and hopefully, with any luck, I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Just in case anyone was curious, here's my personal file. You can see here, look at that little clear. I've got 165 emblems. Let's uh, see if I can one-handedly take a look at what we've got. I have a fairly impressive lineup. City Escape All A's, Radical Highway, obviously the cart stages need some work, Mission Street All A's, Aquatic Mine, All A's down here except Security Hall there, but you know, I'll do that eventually. So yeah, over the years I am pretty okay at this game, Metal Harbor not looking so great. It, uh, you know, this stuff needs a little bit of work. This stuff too. Cosmic Wall always, obviously. Cannon, not bad for Cannon's Core, actually. Mad Space always. Proud of that one. You know, space needs a little bit of work. Ugh, God, final chase. So that's my progress. That's how I've done in my own time. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching this bit. And once again, Thank you for watching my Let's Play of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.